Nice looking Rockefeller Center. I'd say that's the second most famous sheet of ice in New York City after the one that is here under the basketball floor at Madison Square Garden. Of course, we have hockey coming up later tonight here on BTN, but we are getting ready for hoops now. About 24 minutes until Wisconsin and Rutgers will tip it off. And very pleased to have assistant coaches from both teams here, our old friend Howard Moore, who I don't, I don't know if you know, know this, Coach Thompson, Thompson but, but he spent about a month with us oh, yeah. in the Absolutely. studio. Absolutely. And then he decided to bail and help revive his alma mater. And, of course, he's done a fantastic job. But we, we miss Howard in Chicago. And Carl Hobbs, assistant coach, associate head coach at Rutgers, joining us as well. Howard, I, well, let, let me actually start with you here, Carl. Give me a sense of where you feel you guys are as a program right now in building to get to the point. I mean, you're taking on the most consistent program in the Big Ten through the years in terms of year in and year out. You know exactly what you're going to get. Where are you in getting Rutgers somewhere near that point? Well, I think that's a, a great description of uh, the way you describe Wisconsin. <laughs> they most certainly have been consistent uh, in their play, particularly since now they've gotten into Big Ten play. Uh, I think for us, the number one thing that we felt we needed to do is we didn't have to rebound the basketball. We went from being 14th in the league last year, we were out in the top half of the conference, and then secondly, we felt we had to do a much better job in our defense. And our defense have been tremendous all year. That's been the most two most consistent things that we've been able to do, and hopefully we'll be able to do a little bit of that tonight, but those will be keys to the game. You have been a part of building programs before. I mean, at Connecticut, you know, Jim Kelly kind of had it going when you, when you were on the staff, but you certainly, you know, you understood, hey, here's the kind of recruits we got to go after. And then at GW, I mean, you know, you took it over when it was down, and you got it back to being a consistent NCAA tournament team. What did you learn from both of those experiences that you and Steve can apply to Rutgers? Well, I think first and foremost, the two things I talked about is changing the narrative. And part of that narrative is getting the team to play defense. And then secondly, is building chemistry within our program. And the, the third thing we want to build, we want to build with great character kids. And these guys, uh, their character has been tremendous. They've really bought into what we're trying to do. And we're trying to just develop consistent habits. And if we think that we can do that, uh, that's just part of the things that we learned from, from a great coach and Hall of Famer, Coach Calhoun. Yeah, he kind of knows what he's doing. Uh, the, the Badgers, Badgers kind of know, know what they're, they're doing, too, too but it's interesting, Howard. I mean, I think back a lot to that time we spent in the green room yeah. last year, yeah. and we would watch Wisconsin, and you couldn't figure out what in the world was going on. It was such an uncharacteristic team. And when Greg got the job and when you went up to Madison to help him, those first few weeks, it didn't go that smoothly either. How did you guys get it back to where now, a, a year later, it seems like nothing has changed at all? We went back to the basic principles of Wisconsin basketball. You know, we talked about, you know, hey, what is the standard at Wisconsin? What has gotten us to the point where we were able to finish in the top four for many years, uh, you know, under Coach Ryan and obviously the success that Coach Bennett had and, and in the previous coaches as well. But the main thing was, what do we have to do to get back to Wisconsin basketball? The first thing we did was we got our offense back in place. Uh, we implemented the swing once again, which allowed us to get on tracks offensively. But then we really set uh, the tone on our defensive end. We had to get back to guarding the way Wisconsin known for guarding, valuing the basketball as well, and just getting back to the basic principles that has allowed us to have success in the past. How much is having the same group back, I mean, 99.7% of the scoring returning from last year, how has that helped you to get better this year? Well, it's, it's great because, you know, those guys understand what it takes. They've had the experience. They've had success. A few of those guys have played on Final Four teams. So they understand what the – you know, the, the everyday grind is about and, and the process that Coach Gar talks about all the time. So now we're in the mode of, hey, not being satisfied, not getting bored with the process, and again, pushing ourselves to see how much better can we be. Can we be a better defensive team? Can we value the ball and average less than 10 turnovers a game? Uh, you know, those are huge, uh, you know, assets to try to attain. But at the same time, you've got to keep challenging these guys every day. And now guys look for the challenge. I'm not asking either one of you to unveil any game plan secrets here. But, Carl, give me one or two keys on the scouting report for the Badgers. And then, Howard, same for you. I want one or two keys of going up against Rutgers. I'll start with you. Well, I think first and foremost, we've got to rebound the basketball. We most certainly, certainly have to keep Showalter off that offensive glass, <laughs> okay? Uh, for a guard, he's a tremendous rebounder. And then secondly, we got to defend their interior. Uh, the two big guys, Hap and, 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 and Hayes, they do a tremendous job of scoring inside the paint, and somehow we got to find a way to limit their touches. 
Well, you know, he mentioned it. They rebound their tails off, and they're the best in our league as far as getting after the ball, getting on the glass. So we've got to do a good job of trying to keep them off the glass. And in the transition, they really push the ball. They do a good job. We've got to get back and set our defense. We've been up and down with that in the last couple of games, so we got to do a better job. Their guards are good. Sanders, Williams, you know, he's hurt us in the past. They've got some good players, great coaching staff. This is going to be a great game today. It's going to be a fun one. Really looking forward to it. Howard Moore, Carl Hobbs. Thanks a lot, guys. Yep, really appreciate it. Go back and get your teeth ready for the game. For good to say. How about that? That guys, from Madison to Madison Square Garden, we got Barry Alvarez, the athletic director of the Badgers, said to join us now.